I looked around for quite some time for this car. Uh, this is basically a replacement for my 07 Z06 Corvette, which is a wonderful car. I love that car. Hated to get rid of it. But as most people my age, I've got a wife and a couple of kids. So with the Corvette, you have to draw straws to see who gets to go along. So therefore, the car sat a lot. And uh, this is the, by definition, the zoomiest four-door sedan in the world. And uh, I gotta say, I love it. It is an absolute blast to drive, just an absolute blast. We found this one in upstate New York and it only had 2,700 miles on it. It was a really good deal and it was exactly what I wanted. So drove it home, wonderful drive. And three days later, I had it on the road course at Putnam Park Raceway. Was very impressed with the car. It did everything as advertised, but of course, you know, it can always do better. As I dealt with Lingenfelder through the 48-hour Camaro project, I became more and more impressed with the level of engineering, the level of professionalism, the level of performance. Uh, these guys really have it going on. First of all, I knew Mike Copeland from GM anyhow. He's the general uh, manager of Lingenfelder, and he comes directly from GM, where he headed up their special projects development program for years and years, so I worked with him there. He said, hey, you're going to be at the LS Fest, the Holly LS Fest, this weekend. I said, yeah, I'm going to be there. Are you guys going? Sure, we're going. I got this new CTSV that I've been wanting to put your stuff on. How about if I bring it down and you put your goodies on there, and they got a chassis dyno right there on site, and, you know, see what it does. They put a uh, upper blower snout and, and pulley kit on it that they developed and they put one of their cold air inlet kits that they developed and they give it a good tune-up and then uh, we put it on the chassis dyno again. Now this thing made 476 horsepower at the rear wheels in stock form. I mean drive it to the chassis dyno, roll it up there, strap it down and let it happen. It made 476 at the rear wheels. So after we get done at Lingenfelder's, did the same thing, drove it to the chassis dyno, rolled it up there, strapped it down, it made 553. The thing still idles at whatever it is, I never even noticed, 600 RPM. It still gets 20 miles to the gallon on the highway. Uh, it doesn't make a lot of noise, it's very smooth. You can be running 130 and not even know it. It's that smooth and quiet. It's like driving in a tomb at 130 mile an hour. Uh, it, it's really hard to describe the experience. It's, it's almost surreal. Before we put the Lindenfelder equipment on, the car was great. There's no doubt about it. I mean, it, it's one of the most widely acclaimed cars in the world. The Lindenfelder stuff just takes it to the next level. It's an extra 75 horsepower. It doesn't sound like a lot when you're talking about, you know, 475 at the rear wheels already and you add another 75 to it, but you got to figure that's almost 20%. That, that's a big deal. That's, that's more than just seat of the pants. It goes from, wow, this is cool, to, oh my God, I can't believe this thing. That's the difference.